All right, very cool. So uh, my name is Jason, and this is the art of selling art. Let me actually just go there. And over in my members only group, I had a question about how I do my interior examples, how I do my renders. So the art of selling art, here it is, guys. Today is, um, shoot, I don't even know. It is the 25th of November. And um, right now, membership is 180, and uh, that's going up. So if you see this before then, you know, check out one of my live videos on my Facebook page, and that'll explain that. But over in the members group, someone who's a member of this, there's a members only group where we can talk about their sales and what's going on. Um, they were asking about how I do these in home renders because they would really like to use this technique to help foster a specific sale. So I thought I'd take a few minutes, hopefully not too many, to um, show you what I did and how I do them really quick and uh, and then you guys can take it from there. So if we just go to one of my pieces and we can just go to, I don't know, Edge of Solace. So um, I created over 1800 images to make this website work. You know, because there's an in-home example everywhere, right? For each picture has several of these and then each picture has several framed samples, right? And this is what they're asking about. How did I do all of this work? And let me tell you, it was a lot of freaking work. All right. So let's, uh, let's close this. And here we go. So, uh, frame samples. All of my frames that I have on my website started out as a corner piece that I got from the website. So this is actually just a screenshot. And then I used this to, um, to create a much larger space. So if I did something like that, and I'm not gonna do this whole thing for you, but I'm just gonna show you um, how not difficult it is. Do, 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 do. All right. All right, so if we did something like that, uh, you know what, let's just make it smaller. And and then really quick, you got rid of the the white. Let's just delete that. Delete that. Okay. And then you can just take this one and Command J and bring this next one right over about here and uh, and then erase 100%. And there you go. Oops. Um, and then uh, Command E, and then Command J. <clears throat> Let's just flip this uh, horizontal. And then you got a little bit of what exactly what you're looking for. Now, obviously, super quick job. And this is a four and a half inch frame. So this would be a very small frame. I think four and a half inches, you know, this is probably like a 20 inch piece. So um, you'd wanna make it to scale. Now, my files that I've made for this, let me just close this. This is one of the files I made. And if you look, hit Command R, you can see that this is a 70 inch document because I wanna make these as proportionally correct as possible. So this is a four and a half inch uh, frame. And then you make them all the way across and you can kind of see uh, how I didn't take all that much time with this one, but it's good enough. And I made a bunch of them. So I'll put a piece of art in here, right? And then I'll be able to, you know, put a different frame. Cool. 
Cool, and then you can, I made liners, so I can change the liner color, turn the bottom one off, et cetera, et cetera. So this is what I did, proportional and um, realistic. And I did this with everything, with every one of my frames, excuse me. So um, let's move on from this. I'm gonna close this, I'm not gonna save it. As you can see here, I have the master file, which has all of them, and then uh, these are just some leftover work ones, okay? So now I wanna show you how I actually put artwork in these uh, spaces. So you'll see a lot of these uh, guidelines here. Let's open up the ruler again. Now this is a background that I got from Knoll, and Knoll is a furniture manufacturer, um, design place, whatever, and I did a client event with them where I brought some artwork in and showed it to their clients, so they had a reason to make uh, you know, to, to network, and I had a client base to connect with. Anyway, I talk about that a lot in The Arts of Selling Art, and um, that is how I make, you know, parts, a significant portion of my 100 grand a year. So, um, you can pull these, these down to make corners, and here you can see there's a corner, there's a corner, um, and then these must have been moved for whatever reason, Make another one right there. Right, um, and this just happens to look good with it being this way. Now if the room is distorted in a way where this muck corner might be up here somewhere and this one might be down there, you just have to do it so it looks, um, so it looks good. Okay, once I know where my corners are, and uh, maybe there was a picture here before that, or maybe I just put the first piece in there and then I made the rest work. Uh, I can go to window, whoop, view, and then go to snap to, turn that on. And now whenever I resize something, it's gonna show up as a, uh, it's not gonna show up, it's gonna connect to that. So here, look, if I move, not that. If I pick chasing the leaf and I move it, and then when I bring it back, it's going to snap to place. So then I can easily move and adjust artworks in here, okay? The next piece of the puzzle is the shadow. So let me, uh, we'll just leave that one up, I'll turn off these others in the background. Okay, so um, then it needs a backing. So you can go up to view and you can do show guides. You can turn that off. Or, no, clear guides. No, I want to just, I don't want to clear them. So I just want to go to show my guides, take them off, All right? Now, um, here's a backing that I put on. And this adds another dimension to the artwork because this is, you know, a one pixel wide, you know, digital thing that I just slapped on here. So I added a backing. And you can add a black one or a different color one. It just depends on what you're doing, okay? Um, so this is the one that was on there probably because of this frame, right? So um, these are just some of the things I have back there. Now, what's important is that uh, there are always more than one light source. So in this room, you have light coming in from here and you have light bouncing off the ceilings. And then if you look at the shadows here, it doesn't look like there's another light source over here, but maybe there's one over here. And you need to create multiple shadows to create more depth, okay? So it doesn't have to be beautiful. Um, here's the first one. There's another one, and you can see this difference between the shadows right here. And then there is the, uh, the next one. And my computer is just dying with the size of this video that I'm making for you, but whatever. Um, so that's important to realize is that you always have more than one shadow. And I put them in this so that I can resize this really easily. And there we go. So then uh, you can put your artwork back on top and give it a backing. And then the last piece of the puzzle usually is a reflection because there's a big window source here. There has to be a reflection. And look, that is super subtle, but it makes a difference. All I did to make this is I drew um, I just make a new layer here. Sometimes I'll copy this and I'll put it over here, 
But other times I'll just draw something. Whoa, what happened there? Other times I'll just draw something and then I will um, fill it with white, option delete, okay? And then I'll maybe I'll put a blur on it, just a slight one. This is a really big image, yeah, nine pixels is enough. And you can put it on screen mode, but I don't think you actually need to. And then I'll use my number keys to change the opacity, All right? Until it works, until it feels right. So I'm gonna turn that off. And we have these two right here. And then this, uh, this was actually just a tool I made. So this is a, uh, this is a line that's inside the picture already that tells the perspective. So I just drew that line and I extended it so that I could fit uh, the artwork in here. All right, last piece of the puzzle. Let's turn this back on. I'm gonna hit Shift Delete. 50% gray. Now, if your picture doesn't really fit together too well, um, oops. If your picture doesn't fit together too well, you might have to add noise to make the whole thing um, more cohesive. So filter, noise, add noise. And how much noise you add is up to you. Um, but here, here's a decent amount of noise. Or it's not, what we're doing is we're making grain. And uh, I hit OK. And then what I like to do is I like to blur it a little bit. So Shift Command G is a shortcut I made. Now 9 pixels is going to wipe this out. So um, I usually will do, depending on the picture, I'll do like two pixels. All right, and then you come over here to uh, overlay. And what this does is it creates a very subtle unified grain that pulls the whole picture together. And uh, you may not be able to see that on your computer screen, or at least in the video, but you'll definitely, you can see the noise over here and it matches the noise or the grain over here. And, uh, and that unifies a picture that sometimes when it, it doesn't work well, like sometimes you'll have a low resolution background and you want to make it mesh, you put a, a grain layer on top. Okay. Um, so this is, this is how I do this thing. It helps a lot. I, like I said, I made hundreds of these in order to do my own website because, well, here's the thing. Here's a pro tip. Um, you want to make your online experience as close to the real life experience uh, as possible. That will help the, the buying process. So here, like I'm just going to adjust this guy so it fits right. I'm not even going to save this, so I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, but that's the goal. You want to make the online experience as close to the being in your gallery. Okay? And that's the goal, right? So I'm going to get out of here. And uh, let me hit this. Show you guys the art of selling art one more time. Okay, so the art of selling art lives on my website. And you can just go to TASA or click on this banner up here. And, um, whoops, and you can join. So all, everything that I do in this class, look, this isn't, I don't teach, this isn't a, well, I teach, but I don't do like a classroom level teaching. What I am doing is sharing exactly what I do to make money um, in this business. So all these things I share when I'm doing it, I'll make a companion video so that you can apply it to your business somehow. And uh, yeah, so this is going to turn into a lifetime membership, um, 180 for now, but it's moving to 500 bucks. And when you come here, there is uh, all these videos, all these uh, reviews from people who are in my beta group. And then inside, you'll have a menu that looks exactly like this. And you can click on one of these to find videos that I have put together that... Uh, that go in this category, okay? And this is the one that really needs to be built out, but there's gonna be some things in here that are gonna make you very uncomfortable, but they need, to, they need to be shared, and you need to practice some mindset stuff. So everything is in here, you can, this is what it looks like inside the site, but if you click on one of these, obviously you're not gonna get in unless you're a member, okay? Um, all right, uh, I'm gonna bounce, 
And I'm gonna go do a live video over on the Facebook page to kind of introduce this and to answer Matt's questions. And, uh, and I hope you guys have a great day. You feel free to come in here and send me a message or come join our Facebook group, uh, The Art of Selling Art.